My name's John Lawler and I'm in Clonagown Ballyfin. It's a family farm, a farm here with my wife Catherine, my two sons Matthew, Jono and my daughter Mary. My setup here is um, we're farming about 260 acres, half is tillage, half is in cattle. Um, we've always had cattle on the farm, it was mainly cows and calves up to 08, 09, we changed all together, going to a lot more tillage. Then we started buying back the dairy bred calves and putting them to beef. Well, the first time I was exposed to paddock grazing was Paul Gilligan, our advisor, brought out these guys that were interested in piloting a scheme, this um, Green Acres program, calf to beef. And uh, we were slowly introduced to various things. Profit monitor was a big part of it and um, paddock grazing was another huge part. Now I had no paddocks at all. I had 15 to 20 acre fields. You let the cattle out in it and when it was all gone, you brought them in out of it. So he eased us into paddocks slowly <laughs> and it went from there. So we divided into approximately four acre paddocks. The theory is to grow it in 21 days and eat it in three days. But sometimes it could take five days to eat it, depending on the time of the year. But it is working exceptionally well. This year I would have taken 230 bales of silage off paddocks as well as having enough grass for all cattle coming along. You have far tighter control on the grass. And when we had the paddocks we were introduced to the plate meter. And basically you go around and you measure 20 places in every paddock. and it's put in on a computer program and it creates a block of grass and you can see what's over and what's under and what's right. So any of them that were over were taken out for silage and any of them that were right the cattle graze along and the quality of the grass is far great, much improved than what it was. There's no topping, very very little topping because you're either taking it out or they're grazing it back and um, certainly huge difference in cattle performance because they're always getting a fresh pick of grass and they're not stressed at any time only maybe the last half day trying to clean out a paddock. Paul Gilligan is my name, I work here with Chagas in um, County Leash. So we have, uh, Chagas have a thousand ca um, um, cattle or dry stock clients uh, in Leash and um, I myself would have about 250 um, dry stock sheep, beef and sheep farmers in, in County Leash. Paddock grazing that we're looking at here today allows John and farmers like John um, to manage grass. Um, grass is, uh, is measured on a weekly or fortnightly basis. Um, the amount of grass on the farm is calculated. Right? What this allows then do is it allows the farmer, gives him a picture of what grass growth is like on the farm. So what it'll do then, it'll provide him with information as to which uh, grass covers are um, adequate for the animals that are to go into that paddock or else surpluses which have arisen on the farm due to growth. Paddock grazing in combination with grass measurement allows uh, farmers to calculate a grass budget of what, what grass is on the farm. What it allows a farmer then do is calculate the amount of days ahead he has on the farm so he can have confidence in that if there's no growth in the next week that he still has an amount of grass that will keep the cattle um, in, in grass for that week or for the next fortnight. These grass measurements are, are inputted into the pasture based system which is um, a system which is live all across Ireland and a number of farmers are measuring grass and inputting it into this computer program. So what this will tell us then is what growth rates are like all across the country. The Green Acres program, what it has done for me is it has put like-minded farmers like John together in a, peer, in a group and I mean what the group has done to be, to be very good, it has helped all those farmers develop the farm um, and as well as that we, we would have had a number of um, discussion groups on paddock grazing but the amount of people you get to buy into the idea is small but when you put people in a group together focused on it it tends to really work well and I mean they all learn from one another and there is the, the pressure on one another to do it and, to, and to, 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 make it, to make it work. The Green Acres program I found I wouldn't have done this unless I was been um, what would you say steered along by the Green Acres program and I suppose it gives you a bit extra encouragement to get on and do what you're to do and try and do it the best you can. And I've got a lot of technical advice from the advisors and it does, it's working really well for me.